writer, filmmaker, professor. He's already a creative triple threat, spreading the power of art to new generations through a language they can understand. You can be in prison and read it, you can be in school and read it, you can be on the streets and read it, you can be in college and read it. All the while breaking a few rules. For MK Asante Jr., things started to go downhill after his big brother was put behind bars. He was kicked out of his private school, landing him in two different public schools where he still continued to get into trouble by being disruptive and fighting. But eventually, with a little encouragement, Asante managed to find his calling. Because there were so many other things going on as well. You know, I had already, I had got arrested. I had a, a very close friend of mine, little Chris, get murdered to gun violence in Philadelphia. Um, my brother was incarcerated. I mean, there was people were dying. I felt like I had an obligation to write about those things, but to write about them in a way that was inspiring and empowering so that other people wouldn't go there. At just 20 years old, Asante published his first book, a collection of poems called Like Water Running Off My Back. Asante followed up his debut with Beautiful and Ugly 2 in 2005, and then It's Bigger Than Hip Hop in 2008. Oh, it's crazy, the evolution, because, you know, um, the other day someone asked me, you know, what, what's your best book that you, you know, and I said, the next one. I mean, you know, you grow so much from each book to, you know, or each project. And so It's Bigger Than Hip Hop was the transformation. It was when I fully understood how to transform an observation into an obligation. Here's Santi Jr.'s love for writing started with just one class. Now with three books to his name, he's tackled the written word and continues to find new outlets for his storytelling. Such passion for writing. It's, it's oozing out of every <laughs> pore you have. Filmmaking's also in the mix. Writing is very solitary. Film is very collaborative. You're always working with people, you know? And so I kind of liked both of those different experiences, you know, writing by myself for a while, but then being in the film mix and collaborating with people. And um, so, yeah, so that's how I got into it. And then from there, I went to UCLA Film School, and after that, it was a wrap. Asante's passion oh, has eventually led him to inspire others. At age 23, he became a creative writing and film professor. I want to show them this is what a professor can look like. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a professor. Yeah, this is what, this, yeah, I write books. You can write books too. As you teach, you also give talks at other schools. Yeah, well, a lot of talks. A lot of talks. <laughs> and not just here, you, you travel the world. Yeah. What do you talk about? Since 2002, I've done over 100 uh, colleges and universities and just different uh, venues all over the world. Um, it's been an incredible journey. It's still going on. Where do you want it to go next? If I'm going to be investing my energy and my time on something that I think is really important, sure, I want millions and billions to, to, to read it and have access to it. You know, that's, that's just uh, logical. <laughs>